that prayer shall be, but for strength that we may ever live our lives courageously, not forever by still waters would we idly quiet stay, but would smite the living fountains from the rocks along our way. Be our strength in hours of weakness, in our wanderings be our guide, through endeavor fail your danger. Father, be thou at our side. Let our path be bright or dreary, Storm or sunshine be our gusher. May our souls in hope unweary make the work our ceaseless prayer. prayer shall be, but for strength that we may ever live our lives courageously, not forever by still waters quiet stay, but would smite the living fountains from the rocks along our way. Be our strength in hours of weakness, in our be our guide through endeavor fail your danger Father be thou at our side let our path be bright or dreary storm sunshine be our gusher. May our souls in hope unweary make the work our ceaseless prayer. Peace, love, and greetings, and good morning on this beautiful Saturday morning, and indeed, it is a very beautiful day, and I would like to welcome you here to 3P Prayer. My name is Sean Wooten, and I am a Christian. This is my Bible, and I am in Acts 11.26. At, uh, at the latter end of the verse, it says, and the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. That's what I am, a Christian, and proud to be one, too. I'd like to welcome you here to 3P Prayer. 3P Prayer goes live Monday to 
Monday through Friday at 12 noon, Saturdays on 11 a.m. and on Sundays at 12.30 uh, p.m. <clears throat> we are going to be specifically praying for those who are um, in ministry, such as ministers, evangelists, elders, and deacons of individual congregations, um, individual congregations, preaching schools, ministries, and all that, that preach nothing but the sound doctrine of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we are also going to be praying for those who are on the continued list as well. Good morning, Brother Sam. It sure is good to have you with us. And anybody else that's watching that I do not see watching, it's good to have you with us as well. Brother Skyler and Brother Mike, good to have y'all with us. I am going live from three uh, from StreamYard, so that is why most of the time I cannot see who or who's not watching me, um, like Facebook. Uh, but I do know that Brother Mike and Skyler and Brother Sam are watching because they liked it and Brother Sam commented. So with that being said, we are going to focus our prayers on those that are in ministry, Christians and stuff like that. And then we are going to go over the continued list. And I will also pray a prayer for those that will be traveling today, as it is a busy day, and for those that are not Christians, according to God's terms of salvation. With that being said, let us sing a few a cappella hymns out of the psalm book. And then uh, after that, after we encourage one another through song, we will have a word of prayer on, for those uh, on the prayer list today. We are going to be singing 891, number 891. This is the book I will be singing out of, Praise for the Lord. You are more than welcome to join singing with me. In fact, I encourage it. I would love you to sing with me. Number 891, this is the day. And uh, I'm on my second coffee this morning. 891. <clears throat> This is the day, this is the day that the Lord hath made, that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. <clears throat> For those folks who don't know that that's not a scripture, it is a scripture actually. Um, and I want to encourage you out of my Bible in Psalms. 118 verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We have a lot to rejoice. For one, this is the new day. For two, you're alive. You woke up this morning. Fresh breath of air in your lungs. Number three, if you live in this country, you're free. If you live in other countries where there is not restrictions or persecution because you're a Christian. Well, that's a blessing. Uh, and even if you do live in a country where there are restrictions and are persecuted, that is still a blessing in the fact that God is continuing to uh, provide you with the strength to endure. And he is maybe using you uh, to encourage somebody through that persecution. Um, but most of all, we can rejoice because Jesus is our Lord and we are redeemed and we can take confidence in that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, uh, Sister Amy and the Westfall clan. Good to have y'all with us. And not to make y'all dizzy, but this is where I'm at. This is Williamston. I am at my wife's work as she works. She is out in there taking care of some business and passing out some meds today. So I decided I would come and keep her some company. And it is a beautiful day. So with that being said... Let us sing number, uh, there is one particular song uh, that I wanted us to sing, and I don't think I have it wrote down, I don't, and I know it's in my book, give me one second.
It's not in my book. It's in my other song book. And I didn't bring it with me. But that's all right. That's all right. Let us sing at number 841 instead then. Number 841, sing and be happy. I'm going to start bringing my other book with me because I have a new book. Actually, I have two new books. I have a, a hymnal book that is yellow that uh, the brethren gave me here at this congregation. And then I have uh, the psalm book that my granddad, Alton Coggleton, uh, left to give me um, when he passed away. He also gave me his Bible, but I decided not to take the Bible. I decided to let um, uh, my mother-in-law have that instead because I wouldn't really use it. And it would mean more to her than it does me. So um, I passed it on to her. But I did keep the song book. So with that being said, let us sing and be happy because we do have something to sing and be happy about. If the skies above you are gray, you are feeling so blue. If your cares and burdens seem great all the whole day through, there's a silver lining that shines in the heavenly land. Look by faith and see it, my friend. Trust in his promise is grand. Sing and you'll be happy today. Press along to the goal. Trust him who let all be faithful. I always mix these two up. Trust him who leads you, lead you, he will keep your soul. Let all be faith. I'm messing this song up. Let me try that chorus again. Sing and you'll be happy today. Press along to the goal. Trust in him who leadeth the way. He is keeping your soul. Let the world know where you belong. Look to Jesus and pray. Lift your voice and praise him in song. Sing and be happy today. Often we are troubled and tried, sick with sorrow and pain. There are others living in sin, blessed with earthly gain. Take new courage, we cannot tell what the morrow may bring. When the dark clouds vanish away, then your heart truly can sing. Sing and you'll be happy today, press along to the goal. Trust in him who leadeth the way, he is keeping your soul. Let the world know where you belong, look to Jesus and pray. Lift your voice and praise him in song, sing and be happy today. Off we fail to see the rainbow up in heaven's fair sky. When it seems the fortunes of earth frown and pass us by. There are things we know that are worth more than silver and gold. If we hope and trust me stay, we shall have pleasure untold. Sing and you'll be happy today, press along to the goal. Trust in him who leadeth the way, he is keeping your soul. Let the world know where you belong, look to Jesus and pray. Lift your voice and praise him in song, sing and be happy today. <clears throat> Hello, Brother Sam's Radio. <laughs> We are going to be singing number, uh, let us sing number 680, number 680. After this, we will sing, uh, we will go over the prayer list and then we will have a, a word of prayer on behalf of those who are on the list and on behalf of those who work in the kingdom. That includes individual congregations, elders and deacons of individual congregations, ministries that preach only the doctrine of Christ, 2 John 9. Preaching schools that only teach and preach the doctrine of Christ, 2 John 9. Uh, missionaries, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ who are being persecuted worldwide. Um, did I miss anything? Evangelist, missionary. No, I did not. And we will also be praying for those who are on the continued list as well.
Hello, Brother Brian. It sure, sure is good to have you with us, brother. Welcome. And if there's anybody else that is just now joining, my name is Sean Wooten, and I am a Christian, Acts 1126. And it is sure good to have you with me, jo to join me here on 3P Prayer as we encourage one another through song and through prayer. Good morning, Mother-in-law. Good to have you with us. If you have any prayer requests at this time, please comment them below, as I would love the privilege to pray for you. <clears throat> Number 680, there's not a friend. <clears throat> There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. None else can heal all our souls' diseases. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Excuse me. No friend like him is so high and holy. No, not one. No, not one. And yet no friend is so meek and lowly. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. There's not an hour that he is not near us. No, not one. No, not one. No night so dark, but his love can cheer us. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. All righty, y'all. We are going to go over the prayer list right quick. I did, however, uh, mention, I'll mention it again. Uh, what we are going to be specifically focusing our prayers on today, um, which would be uh, we are going to specifically focus on praying for those. Let me fix this a little bit. I really don't like it that I have to look down to y'all. That's I really do not like that, actually. Um, but if I put it up here, well, give me one second. Let me see if I can just do what I did yesterday, actually, and do this. Give me a second, y'all. There we go. Let's see how this works. Yeah, that's a little better. I level with you. How's that? Yeah, like it. I'm going to grab my B-I-B-L-E here so I can use it for a mouse pad on the back side. And let's see here. Let's put that over so I won't mess my charger up. There we go. Let's see if that'll sit right there. Hey, 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 look at that. See, I can use the Bible other than just to learn from it. Nice. I got you, mother-in-law. I was going to actually pray for that anyway. Thank you. All right. We are going to be specifically focused on our prayers on those that are evangelists, ministers, missionaries, elders, and deacons of individual congregations, ministries, and congregations individually and as a whole, uh, the church as a whole, what I mean. Um, we are going to be focused on those who are preaching the doctrine uh, of Jesus Christ, 2 John 9, in individual congregations and in preaching schools. Uh, and we are going to be praying for our brothers and sisters in Christ as well. Um, we will also be praying for those who are not in the church and that are preaching a false doctrine. Uh, Galatians 1, 6 and following, and it's also recorded in Revelation 22, I believe. Uh, is it Revelation 22? Now i got to go look real quick. I know it's in Revelation
Correct. Thank you, Lord. Uh, it is in Revelation chapter 22. It's the last two verses. All right. Without any further ado, let us go over this prayer list, which I already did. And now we are going to go over the continued prayer list right quick, um, which is we need to remember Cody Matheson and his family. His twins are home. Um, so we still need to pray for, uh, for their recovery. Uh, which I need to uh, edit this real quick because I did not have a chance to this morning. His twins are home. And still recovering, but they're a whole lot better than they were. Recovering, and I'm going to put in parentheses R S B. There we are. Uh, let's remember Sister Heather Diana as she still is focused on uh, aiming to study more with uh, Cody and Ginger. Uh, from what I understand, her first Bible study with them went very well. Uh, let's remember Dorothy Alligood and Kim Mitchell and their mom as her mom as their mother has passed away. Also, let's remember Dustin and Cameron Hardison, as that was their grandmother. And let's just remember the entire family. Uh, the funeral is today. Um, so let's pray that when my mother-in-law goes there, that everything will um, be peaceful um, and loving. Uh, and that people can um, just get along for today. Well, every day, actually. But you know what I mean. Um, me personally, I like going to funerals to pay my respect. Uh, but other than that, I have grown to actually hate going to funerals because it seems it's the time where people are the most hateful, um, which is very sad to me. Um, hello, Sister Sheila. Uh, Nicole, good to have you with us, dear sister. Uh, so let's remember them as they grieve of the loss of their loved one. Uh, let's remember the Westfall family as well as um, Brother Levi and Sister Amy and Brother Chris and Sister Deborah and uh, members of that family uh, are having health issues. Uh, let's also remember the Westfall family as they grieve over the death of Uncle Marv, which would be Levi's Uncle Marv. I believe that would be Brother Chris's brother. Yeah, if it's your Uncle Marv. Yeah, yeah. Brother Chris's brother. Sorry. Uh, let's remember Carolyn Evans as she has multiple melanoma cancer and she is currently taking chemo treatments. Uh, from what I understand, she is still waiting for a phone call to be, to be, uh, transferred to Duke university, uh, to be able to have a bone marrow transplant. And Carolyn Evans is my mother-in-law's stepsister. Uh, let's remember sister Kathleen Walt and brother Don Walt as they have health issues, which I don't know why my computer keeps erasing that. Thank you for the opportunity to be patient, Lord. Uh, let's remember uh, Sister Kathleen and Brother Don Walt as they have health issues. I tell you, AIs think they know best. They don't. And let's also remember Sister Sue Chasser uh, as she is doing much better on her kidney dialysis, and, but she is recovering from the minor surgery that she had on her arm. Uh, let's remember them. Let's remember Brother Wayne Langford, as he also has mel multiple melanoma cancer, uh, and he is taking chemo capsules uh, once again. He will be taking them for 21 days, uh, and he doesn't do very well on them, so let's uh, remember him. Let's remember Brother Sam in the Philippines uh, as they search for his daughter, Kiana, which ran away. Uh, let's remember Brother Sam as he searches for a job. Uh, and let's also remember Brother Sam and the family as Brother Sam has been away from his son for about 14 years. Uh, his son's name is Isra. I have no idea why my computer loves to erase my stuff. Or maybe I just didn't save it proper, properly. Uh, let's remember Sister Kathleen Dalt uh, and her daughter Danielle as her daughter is struggling with migraines and she has been since uh, a child. Um, let's remember Sister, S S Sister, 
Uh, let's remember a sister, Alexis Cornett, and her family. Sister Alexis has chronic health issues. Also, let's remember her family uh, as they are grieving the death of a lost loved one as well. Let's remember Brother John and Sister Faye uh, Ahamim. Uh, they are senior citizens. I apologize if I didn't pronounce your name right. Uh, let's remember them as they are senior citizens in the kingdom. Uh, and they are struggling with health issues as well. And actually, if I remember correctly, Brother John is a minister, a preacher. Uh, I can't remember what congregation she said he was, but I know it's up in Ohio. Uh, let's remember Brother Jim and Sister Tammy Turner as they grieve the loss of their pet uh, cat, uh, Gilligan. And also, let's remember... Uh, their health issues. Uh, Sister Tammy has uh, dementia and they both have ongoing health issues. Uh, let's remember Sister Darlene Silvestri. I recently have talked to her um, and she has requested uh, more fervent prayers. Uh, Johnny, Brother Johnny has dementia and um, he's not doing very well. And that's where I'm going to leave it. So we just need to pray for her and their, the family. Uh, and then last but not least, and there are many others, I just have, I'm still going through the prayer list. Uh, I did, however, get the prayer list for the health issues updated and the two days combined uh, so that I can focus that day on something else to pray for. Um, and it is updated. I just have to add the new prayer list to or the new prayer request to it. And I will be going through it and um, putting people on the continued prayer list. Um with that being said, uh, the last one that I have so far is Sister Megan. Let's please remember her as she has many ongoing health issues. And uh, at this time, she is not doing very well. Um, so let's pray for her that God would provide her for, for. Let's pray that God would provide to her strength, guidance, comfort, and peace as only he can provide those things. Uh, but also wisdom to make the decisions that would be glorifying to her first off to him and beneficial to her according to his will. Uh, 11 years. Sorry, Brother Sam. Let me go correct that right now. I dearly apologize. Uh, I thought it was 14, but it's not. It's 11. 11. All right, Brother Sam. Thank you so much. I got you. All right. If there are no other prayer requests at this time, let us go to our great God in heaven and offer these things to him. Uh, and lay them in his hands, for we know that he is able to take care of them far more than we are. All right, y'all. If I look at the computer, it is simply to look at my prayer list. Let us pray, y'all. <clears throat> Dear most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer this morning and we just want to thank you father for you and for the lord jesus for the holy spirit father god in heaven we want to thank you that you sent your son and our savior jesus christ to die on that cruel cross of calvary uh and that he was willing to go to the cross humbly and obediently taking our sin and our shame and our punishment upon himself so that we through him could be saved from not only the bondage of sin but hell death and the grave um, and that we could be set free that we could have freedom and that we could be forgiven and have salvation that we could be most certainly reconciled to you, Father, and have that hope of eternal life that we could live with you forevermore one day as long as we keep your commandments as you have uh, instructed us to do. Uh, Father, we thank you for your word, which is truth. We thank you for your word, which fully equips us and it uh, benefits us by correcting us, edifying us, uh, encouraging us and point us in the way to be righteous Um uh, and many other positive benefits that your word offers to us. And we just want to simply say thank you. Father, we thank you for the freedom that you allow us to have in this great nation to be able to come to you uh, and come together and encourage one another through song and through prayer. Uh, we want to thank you that we can come together on the first day of the week to worship you in spirit and in truth. And we can do so without any fear of persecution or hurt, harm or danger. Uh, Father, help us not to take our freedoms for granted. Uh, Father, be with those who are all over the world um, that don't have that same freedom that we have, that are either uh, have restrictions or they are simply persecuted by being beaten and burned alive and beheaded and imprisoned or some other worse thing, Lord. 
uh, because they want to live for you. And we just pray that, Lord, not only would you continue to provide them with strength uh, and comfort and guidance and peace, as only we know that you could provide those things, but we pray, Lord, that you would help them to continue to strive to be that Christ-like example and a doer of your word and not to give up, uh, that their persecutors may see that light in them, that they may see that hope in them and begin to question uh, the reason that they have a hope in them and that it may, Lord willing, according to your will, uh, open a door of opportunity for the gospel to not only be taught to them and them to be receptive, but that they may be obedient to it. And you can continue to add to your church uh, daily those who are being saved as you have done uh, since the uh, first century. And we just thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for your church. Uh, Father, we pray and ask uh, this morning that you would be with uh, those men out there in the congregations and um, uh, the ministers and evangelists, the missionaries uh, that preach your word in the, in the church service, uh, but that also that preach the, uh, the, the preacher word outside of the church service and um, the missionaries that are women as well. Uh, Father, we just thank you for their labor of love in your kingdom. We thank you for their uh, labor of love that they go out and continue to do as you have commanded all of us to do. Uh, and that is simply to just preach the gospel and to make disciples, baptizing them um, for the forgiveness of our sins. Uh, Father, we thank you for um, your word that it equips us and it equips them. Uh, I know that at times when they go out and preach that it, they may be uh, at times feel a little discouraged. And I pray that, Lord, you would help us to remember that they are just mere men and women as we are. And they need our encouragement. They need our prayers. And we pray that, Lord, you would uh, continue to be with them and strengthen them and give them courage and boldness as they go out there and continue to labor to preach the gospel. Uh, Father, be with those who preach the gospel that are not able to go out into the world, that uh, are housebound, that preach the gospel on, may, rather it be Facebook or email or just simple phone call, or maybe people come to their house and they have a Bible study. Uh, I pray that, Lord, you would be with them as well. And I pray that, Lord, you would be with all these folks, that you would continue to uh, bless their fruit of their labor uh, and bless them to continue to lay and store up things in heaven for themselves. Uh, Father, be with our individual uh, teachers and elders and deacons of individual congregations. Uh, Father, be with them as they make decisions and shepherd the flock, as they serve uh, the flock, as they love the flock. Uh, Father, help the flock of your church to continue to submit to our elders and their rule. Uh, help us to remember that they also are mere men and they need our encouragement and prayers as well. Uh, help us to submit to the rule and authority unless it contradicts what you say in your word. Um, Father, I pray that you would bless our elders to um, continue to do the work that they are required and that you have called them to do. Uh, I pray that, Lord, you would further your kingdom, that we would be able to do more, not just here in our local congregations, uh, but in uh, in the church at Universal, Lord, that we can um, continue to plant those seeds, continue to water those seeds, that you may give the increase according to your will and in your own timing. And we just thank you. Uh, Father, be with our um be with all the ministries out there and the preaching schools all across, not just our nation, but across the world that um, aim to uh, preach the doctrine of Christ uh, and to instruct men in the way that they should go on how to preach the doctrine and to uh, keep scripture in its context. Uh, I pray that as they are being taught, Lord, that you would help them to not only uh, be humble, but to stay humble and to continue to plant that seed and water it as you have called them to do. Uh, Father, be with those teachers and uh, professors at each individual congregation. Be with the preachers and teachers in each individual ministry. Uh, and Lord, I just pray that you would continue to bless them with as many opportunities as they can handle to uh, continue to preach the word as you have commanded us to. And just um, continue to bless the fruit of their labor um, and continue to bless them their school and continue to bless their ministries. Uh, Father, I pray and ask that you would um, be with your church, uh, Lord, regardless if we're a preacher behind the pulpit or are we are just a simple disciple and servant of yours, uh, man or woman. Uh, Father, I pray that you would bless each and every individual in your kingdom uh, and give them more opportunities, Lord, to not just preach the gospel, but to be loving and kind and patient and tenderhearted and forgiving. Um, and Lord, help them to seize those opportunities and thank you for those opportunities. Uh, Father, bless them with an opportunity to be a shoulder to cry on or just simply just to listen while somebody unloads on them. Uh, Father, bless them to be able to give a, a, a kind word of encouragement to make their day better. 
Uh, Father, just help us to love you that we may love others and help us to love others that we may love you. Um, and part of that love that you have told us in your word is to serve one another. Help us to do that, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, for the ways you use us. I pray that, Lord, as you use us, you would always get the glory and the honor and praise um, as you are worthy, as you are the only one that has all authority and all power. And you are always in control um, no matter what circumstances uh, may arise. And we just uh, want to say thank you. Father, I pray that you would be with uh, many of those that are on the continued prayer list, like Cody Matheson um, and his family uh, and his two twins that have recently gone home uh, and are still recovering from RSV. We thank you for the recovery that they have made. We thank you for the good health and healing that you have uh, given them. And we thank you, Lord, that you continue to bless them in their health. Uh, Father, I pray that you would be with Sister Heather as she um, aims to study the word with uh, Cody and Ginger. Uh, and not just her, Lord, but Brother Ben Grady and Brother Paul Mays and many others out there who aim to study with those that are not in the church. Uh, Father, as they aim to study with these folks, I pray that you would give them more opportunities and continue to bless their work, continue to bless them uh, and their fruit, Lord. Uh, and <clears throat> uh, I pray that the souls that they are studying your word with, that they indeed would receive the gospel with ready hearts and ready minds, but also with open hearts and open minds. Um, that they would be willing to not only study, but they would be willing to take what has been taught to them and just simply go search the scriptures for themselves. Uh, Father, I pray that you would bless them to um, be receptive and obedient to the gospel and that they themselves would begin to live faithfully unto death and to uh, preach the gospel to others as it has once been done to them, uh, Lord. Father, I pray you would be with Miss Dorothy Alligood and Kim Mitchelson uh, as their mom has passed away recently. Lord, I pray that you would be with Dusty and Cameron, Cameron Hardison, as their grandmother has recently passed away. Uh, Father, I pray you would be with the entire family that uh, as they bury their loved one today, that, uh, Lord, there's going to be a lot of tears. Um, and I pray that we would just comfort one another, that um, we would reminisce and on the things that we remember about uh, Miss Linda, Alec, not specifically me, but the family. Uh, Lord, I pray that kind words we offer today. Uh, but they would be truthful words. Uh, Father, I pray that you would just bless them to look to you for strength and guidance and comfort and peace as only um, you can provide those things. I pray that, Lord, uh, as an opportunity arises, that the gospel would be uh, shared with them, that they may be able to be receptive and obedient to it, and that they can have uh, life everlasting uh, as you provide that to those who live faithfully. And we just thank you uh, for the family and the time that you have given them to have with Miss Linda Alligood. Father, I pray you would be with uh, the Westfall family as uh, several of them, Brother Levi, Brother Chris, um, Sister Amy, uh, Sister Deborah, uh, and probably others have health issues. I pray that, Lord, thank you for the good health and healing you give them. And I pray that, Lord, you would continue to restore the health to them. Um, and I pray that, Lord, you would um, continue to bless them, to look to you for strength and guidance and comfort and peace as well as only you can provide those things. Uh, and Lord, thank you for the good health you give them. Uh, Father, I pray you would be with the Westfall family as they are also are grieving over the death of their uncle Marv, over their brother Marv. I pray that Lord, you would um, comfort them in this. And also thank you for the time, Lord, that you have given them to uh, spend that time with Marv. Uh, Lord, I pray that those that are not Christians in the Westfall family, that opportunities would rise for the gospel to be preached to them, that they also may be receptive um, and obedient to the gospel. Uh, Lord, I just thank you so much for Brother Chris and Levi and Sister Amy and Deborah and for their um, awesome Christ-like example uh, as they reach out to and love and encourage others as the others reach out to love and encourage them as you have commanded us. Um, and Lord, we just love our family. We love our family, God's family, and we just thank you for them and not just them, but for all of those in your family. Uh, Father, I pray you would be with Miss Carolyn Evans as she has multiple melanoma cancer and she is currently taking chemo treatments. Uh, and also she is waiting for a phone call to be transferred to Duke uh, to have a bone marrow transplant. Uh, Lord, I pray that you would be with her and restore her health to her. May the correct uh, and appropriate treatment methods be offered that she may overcome this cancer and win the victory. Um, and Lord, that you would restore her health to her and, and give it a, to her speedily according to your will. 
Um, and also, Lord, I pray that you would also open doors for her to and her family to not only hear the gospel, but to be receptive to it and obedient to it on your terms of salvation. And we just thank you for the good health and healing you give her as well. Uh, Father, I pray you would be with Sister Kathleen and Brother Don Walt as they have health issues. Uh, Lord, I pray you would be with Sister Sue uh, Chasser as she has health issues. Thank you for the uh, solution that was offered and found to help her better uh, with her kidney dialysis, that it's better. Uh, and as she recovers from her surgery uh, on her arm, uh, Lord, I just pray that you would continue to heal them and continue to give them a speedy recovery. And thank you also for the good health and healing you give them and their Christ-like example as well. Uh, Father, be with Brother Wayne Langford as he also has multiple melanoma cancer and he is currently starting to take the chemo capsules again. Uh, Father, I pray that as he takes these chemo capsules that you would help him um, to do better this time than he did last time, that you would continue to restore his health to him. Uh, and thank you for the good health and healing you give him. Thank you for his example and the dedication that he has uh uh, put forth to preach the gospel in your kingdom, and we just thank you for him. Uh, Father, I pray that you would be with Sister Kathleen Dalt and her daughter uh, da Danielle, sorry, uh, Danielle, as she is suffering from migraines and has been since a child. I pray that, Lord, something may be offered to her to lessen those migraines, and thank you for the good health you give her as well. Father, I pray you'll be a Sister Alexis Cornette and her family. Uh, Sister Alexis has chronic health issues. I pray that, Lord, you would continue to reach out to her and uh, restore her health to her um, and, and make it speedily uh, according to your will. Lord, I pray that you would also be with her family as they also are grieving over the death of a lost loved one, uh, her grandmother. I pray that you would be with them as they grieve as well. Uh, Father, I pray you would be with Brother John and Sister Faye Ahemem. Uh, who are struggling with health issues in your kingdom. Uh, I pray that, Lord, you would restore their health to them. And I pray that you would be with Brother John as he, till this day, still strives to not only preach your word, but to uh, serve in your kingdom as well as Sister Faye. And thank you for their Christ-like example. Uh, Father, I pray you would be with Brother Jim and Sister Tammy as they also have uh, ongoing health issues. And Sister Tammy has dementia. I pray that you would continue to restore their health to them. And be with them also as they grieve over their pet cat, um, Gilligan, who has recently uh, died. Uh, Father, I pray you would be with Sister Darlene Silvestri and Brother Johnny as he has dementia and other ongoing health issues. And I pray that, Lord, you would just continue to be with them in this time and restore their health to them. And thank you for their Christ-like example. And thank you for the work that Brother Johnny has done in your kingdom, uh, Father. And I pray that you would be with Megan Marchesano, our dear sister. Uh, as she struggles with her health issues as well, Lord. Uh, Father, all these folks that struggle with health issues, I pray that, Lord, you would just continue to uh, watch over them and provide them with good health and restore their much-wanted health to them, all of their health to them. Um, and thank you for the good health you give them. I pray that, Lord, you would be with their doctors and their nurses, that they would continue to care for them in the way that they so desperately need to be cared for. Um, and I pray that, Lord, you would um, just continue to bless them and help them to look to you for strength and guidance and comfort and peace as only you could provide those things. Uh, Father, be with those who have lost loved ones. There are so many. Uh, Lord, I just pray that you would be with them and comfort them uh, in, their, in their loss and in their grief, Lord. Help them to look to you um, to be faithful unto death so that they not only can be reunited with their loved ones, but first and foremost, that they can come and live with you forevermore in eternity. Uh, Father, for those who are not Christians, I pray that, again, uh, that a door would be open that you have provided, Lord, uh, that they would be able to hear the gospel on your terms of salvation, that they would be receptive and obedient to it, that they could have life with you uh, as they live faithfully unto death in the end. Uh, Father, be with us as we go throughout this day. Help us to aim to speak and do and think those things that are most certainly glorifying to you. Um, Father, as your people, sometimes we falter and we fail and we sin. And Lord, we don't want to do that. We want to live faithfully to you. We want to do those things that please you because we love you. Um, so help us to do those things, Lord, if it be your will. Uh, thank you for the strength you give us. Uh, thank you for the blood of Christ that continually cleanses us um, as we walk in the light, as you are in the light, as you have commanded us to. Uh, Father, as we go throughout this day, help us to not only look for those opportunities that you provide, but to seize those opportunities to be loving and kind and generous and forgiving and gracious uh, and, to, and to share the gospel or just to simply speak a kind word or be a listening ear or a shoulder to cry on. Help us to be that Christ-like example to others as you call us to be, uh, regardless if they love us or not. It's because we love you and we just thank you, Lord, for this time. 
It's in Christ's name we do pray. Amen. <clears throat> Give me a second. I need to uh, take a drink of water, please. Or coffee, rather. <clears throat> I am drinking a Frappuccino. I already had my cup of hot coffee this morning. So now I'm drinking Frappuccino. I am going to be wired all day. And then at the end of the day, when I am finally done with the day, I'm going to be like an airplane. No, that's a bad analogy. I'm going to crash and just go to sleep. Just leave it at that. <laughs> you are welcome, Sister Sheila. And you're welcome, mother-in-law. <clears throat> He is 14 years old, and you haven't seen him in 11 years. Yeah. I got you, Brother Sam. I would like to thank you all for joining me here on 3P Prayer as we encourage one another through song and through prayer. Uh, I hope and pray that as you go throughout your day that it's a blessed day. And indeed, it looks like it's going to be. The sun is high. The wind is blowing. It feels so great. And it is sunny out. And it's beautiful. And I can't wait to go to the park later if the Lord will be giving me that uh, opportunity. As you go throughout your day, remember to be obedient to God in all things and keep all of his commandments. Excuse me. Uh, just as Jesus did, John 14, 15, John 14, 21, John 14, 23, uh, John 15, 14, uh, Ecclesiastes 12, 13, and Hebrews 5, 8, and 9. Remember as you go throughout your day to love God is to love one another, to love one another is to love God. And part of loving one another is serving one another and not just one another, but those in the world. Uh, John 15. And y'all take advantage of those opportunities that God so graciously gives you uh, to preach the gospel, to be a shoulder to cry on, to be a listening ear. Um, to uh, maybe they just want to uh, cry on your shoulder or maybe you just simply need to give them a, a word, kind, a kind word of encouragement. Like if we go through McDonald's drive through here in a little while and they're rude, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to do what I can to make them smile. I want to see them pretty teeth. I want to see them smile because that's what it's all about. Um, you know, so take advantage of those opportunities because folks, God does give you those opportunities. Matthew 28, 18 to 20, Mark 16, 15 and 16 and 2 Timothy 4, 2. Y'all, let's go to heaven together. But until then, remember God and I and those at CEM, we love y'all truly. And yes, Stay tuned to New Time Nuggets, which is in six minutes. We'd love to have you.